Hello, my name is Evan Madison, and I have been on the board of directors of Chandler's Landing since fall of 2018, and have served as the president since fall of 2019. Prior to that, I volunteered for nearly six years on the environmental committee. Hi, my name is Chip Emery, and I have served on the, as vice president of the board of directors at Chandler's Landing since the fall of 2018, and previously served on the board for eight years in the early 2000s. Chandler's is an amazing and complex neighborhood, both of us having served on the board in the last three years through the very challenging times, understood that many of the decisions and answers to HOA problem solving are not as obvious or as easy as they appear. It is only after you've had the ability to work behind the scenes that multifaceted issues uh, we are faced with become clear. Solving compounding long-term issues has been the main focus driving our HOA board actions over the last three years. We wanted to take this opportunity to provide context for the past and how did we get here, and more importantly, a path towards successful future for Chandler's. Between 1990 and 2014, or half of the time of Chandler's Landing's existence, assessments increased a total of only $33.50. In hindsight, the average increase of $1.48 per year did not position our neighborhood to be financially prepared to handle the present aging of our nearly 50-year-old infrastructure. Once on the board, the financial and infrastructure challenges that came to light became concerning to the point that demanded our action to protect our home values and our neighborhood experience. In order to create an effective long-term solutions, it is wise to ensure that we first had an accurate perspective of the challenges related to the community and the infrastructure. Both these play into a greater long-term viability and ultimate success for our neighborhood. This set your board on a path over the last three years to survey a host of aspects of Chandler's. Assessing where we are is an incredibly important step, and it also seemed wise to understand how we got here. Due to my appreciation of context and my background in real estate, I performed two studies aimed at increasing our understanding of our present situation. The first was a historic look at our own dues history, which showed two long stretches of flat dues, not even factoring for inflation. The second was a survey of other neighborhoods with similar amenities in our MLS area and their respective dues so that we could get a realistic baseline perspective of HOA assessments. The comparable HOA study highlighted two significant facts. First, how truly unique Chandler's Landing is. We have lots of, to be grateful for. There are only 20 HOA neighborhoods out of literally thousands of HOAs with similar amenity sets as ours. Of those 20s, most do not have one of our greatest assets the lakeside location and waterfront related amenities. The second revelation showed just how far off from our average we are when it comes to our assessments, especially in light of our massive amenity set. The average was $302 a month, with the general range being $250 to $400. Also good to note is that the communities with the closest assessments to ours were significantly further out from city centers. But most of those also included additional mud taxes or required capital contribution fees when purchasing, such as four to $8,000. In general, most neighborhoods in the study were 20 to 30 years younger than ours, and therefore they also didn't have the impact of time on their infrastructure that we are presently faced with. In light of this information, and in order to prepare for a successful future, it was clear that our HOA dues needed to be moved to a level that would allow the neighborhood amenities and operations to be properly maintained and to run for years to come. In moving towards these solutions, the increasing value of our homes are also secured and our neighborhood can compete or at least stay on a path par with comparable neighborhoods in our overall region. That provided the context and set our path of surveying all aspects of our community's needs, past, present, and future needs, such as 20 miles of concrete and asphalt roads, retaining walls, drainage, ponds, a host of other amenities, and more. We also performed the first reserve study in a decade and requested that it have a 30-year future perspective. We now have a much better understanding of where we are, where we have come from, and how to move forward successfully. 
The purchase and complete renovation of TYC fixes decades of deferred maintenance and provides a competitive advantage unlike any other related to comparable neighborhoods amenity sets. Even during the current unprecedented times, Chandler's Landing has been able to accomplish improvements over the last three years. Based on our history and refreshed perspectives, we now have a plan and path for a more successful future. The current financial plan, if followed over the next nine years, will provide us with the ability to pay off our capital improvement loan in full, leaving us debt free, to have reserve levels that are correctly sized for our needs of roughly $2.5 million, and provide operating capital to meet ongoing needs of our community, both now and for future generations. And doing all this helps ensure that we and future generations of Chandler's residents will continue to enjoy the numerous unique opportunities we have in Chandler's. Hey everyone, we appreciate you taking time to watch this video. And we hope you found this update helpful. We'll see you around the neighborhood.